Hey Mavs, it's your girl Nadia. Um, I recently just got back from Japan. I was there for about two weeks. I went to Tokyo, I went to Fuji, and also did the Kyoto and Osaka trip. It was such an amazing trip. I enjoyed it so, so much. And you know how much I love thrift shopping. So I did uh, get a couple of stuff while I was there, but most of these things were actually from Tokyo because they had the most kind of thrift shops. Um, I wouldn't say that they are kind of thrifty because they were pretty expensive but I still did get a couple of stuff so you know what let's just get straight into the video let's start with one of my favorite pieces I got this top and when I first saw it I was so excited because it look at how beautiful the colors are it is so bright and I love how lightweight it is I love these kind of like baggy tops because I can just kind of tie it around the waist and wear it with like a simple shorts and I'm like good to go for the day um, so this is definitely one of them this one reminds me of the Flintstone I love crazy colors and prints this is like my jam and look at that I just don't know what to say about it it's just really really cool this one was actually a lot cheaper this was 20 ringgit so actually it was affordable so I was really happy when I scooped this up it's a little bit baggy but I think I can definitely make it work. So you'll notice that a lot of my thrift items are actually really bold and super colorful, but this one is slightly subtle for me. So, but I still like the orange color here because it's still quite bright. I needed something to brighten up my day. So this can pair really well with my brown skirt. I guess just brown every day. Going back to color, look at that shirt I am so happy this was actually hanging on the wall we went into this thrift store me and Steve um, it says they're 50% off and there was barely any sales when we were in Japan so when I saw it I'm like we're going in and this was right on the wall and I'm like please I need to get that down so I kind of got the lady to help me um, take it down and I wore it and I fell in love because that is such a crazy color it's like super bright pink with really crazy stuff going on I actually wanted to thrift this for Steve but he thought it was a little bit too kind of there's too much going on so I'm like no nah, that's okay I can wear it it's mine now no problem but I did help him find this uh, shirt instead because I was like oh my god that looks so much like the 80s it is so cool I like how it has this little kind of a geographic no not geographic geometric prints on it and he loved it instantly I definitely am going to steal his let's move on to some shoes that i got i went a little bit crazy over shoes you will see um but the first pair that i got when i was in japan was actually these pair of chunky purple heels or like sandals um i love the purple because there were a lot of um kind of purple going on in this exact tone and i haven't been really in love with purples in the past so i thought why not i'll just try in a kind of sandal form that's a little bit more like not so bold I guess so yeah I love this so much it was so comfortable to walk in we did a lot of walking in Japan like so much every single day our feet were sore so I loved it so much because that I bought it in black because I think this is these are gonna be my new pair for like dancing clubbing I mean not that I do clubbing ever at all anymore but if I'm going out I'm not gonna wear heels so I'm gonna just throw my heels out and wear these I'm not gonna throw my heels another pair of sandals talking about brown I got these ones I thought I just needed um, a replacement because my sandal is kind of dying so I needed one that was cute and still really pretty look I think it's like super summery vibes and in Malaysia it's always warm so this is perfect to be honest with you I didn't get too many items because actually a lot of these items were really really pricey than my usual kind of thrift um, price range but I did get two bags and these are my last two items from Japan this is the bum bag that I got because everyone and every store had a bum bag and I was searching for the perfect one and when I first saw this I was like yes I love it I love it so much but at that time I was already spending so much that I just couldn't make myself buy it but Steve was like no you just gotta have it and I'm so happy that he convinced me uh, to get it because look it's like a patchy little like with denim there and this little logo and it has like three different zippers I I've been wearing this almost every single day with every outfit 
actually almost forgot that I also thrifted this in Japan, this top. This is this one and this bright top has to be like my two favorite item that I got. This is so cool. It's like super silky. When I first saw it, I'm like, I've imprinted on those shirt. I didn't care how much was, I'm gonna get it. In the end, it was like 50% off again. It was so cool. I was so happy. Look at it. Now I'm like wearing it with these kind of bright like neon shorts and in Japan I love how everyone is just wearing whatever they want to wear for the longest time I actually love YouTube for a little bit because I've kind of lost my sense of purpose of why I'm creating videos about fashion and beauty I felt like I was kind of promoting this whole idea I think I was so stuck into Instagram you know the whole perfection thing and I felt like it was so much about our physicality and how we have to look like and you know and I didn't like that and it didn't make me happy but Japan has definitely you know brought sparked that fashion like love in me and now I remembered why I love fashion so much because I get to express I get to wear whatever I want to wear not because of a trend or anything like that as much as I do love trends oh why am I hyperventilating I think I'm just like really passionate about fashion and I'm, I'm so glad that I am back in my zone. The last piece that I got in Japan, well actually the first thing I did get in Japan um, was this bag. Um, this is from Polo Ralph Laurent. I've never had like a branded bag before and when I saw it and it's like thrifted like that's, I love that so much more than a new kind of um, brandy bag. I know that the leather is a little bit worn out and the handle actually broke on me when I was there but I'm like, I, I'm still in love with it. I like how I can, it has like a, a, quite a big of a compartment that I can put stuff in. I think this will be perfect for my travel bag, just as a handbag. Um, I'm gonna fix the leather and I am I really feel like I scored this bag. So I'm not gonna leave you there just yet because when I got back from Japan, I was, all these kind of like thrift love and fashion and my energy was just like pumped. I'm like, I need to go thrift shopping again. I was so excited. I was like, Steve, we gotta go thrift shopping in Malaysia because it's so good here you can still find a lot of stuff for a lot cheaper as much as I love what I got from Japan so we went to Jalan Jalan Japan which I've never been before and I got a lot of shoes there weren't a lot of clothes but I'm so happy that I actually got a lot more accessories um, the first pair are actually these kind of like not Wellington boots but they're like rubber boots in a um, what are these called those Western cowboy boots exactly how cool are they they look like they're new i feel like they they're in a new pair i got this for 20 ringgit that's insane i love how it has this kind of like buckle right here i am definitely excited to wear this now talking about heels i did say i'll throw out my heels but i did get a couple more heels actually a few and the first one is actually these kind of black pair i like how they are pointy in the beginning i thought it was a little bit too pointy but when i wear it like on me because i do have chunky legs i feel like these really elongate my um legs without like the height so i love that so much and the best part is that this cost me five bring it five bring it for a pair of heels that's just unseen and look at that detail i just really want to show you i like the kind of uh, leather bit shiny and yeah this is really really cool a similar pair that i got is this one in kind of this pinky uh, tone. I wore this recently to an event and I love how it has this kind of, again, like a probably faux leather um, petal detail. Um, this one is a lot pointier, but they are just perfect. I think these are from the 80s, early 90s. I'm not too sure. And I like how it's just a really short heel because I really honestly couldn't care less to wear high heels anymore. That makes my feet like hurt like what's the point I want to go out and enjoy myself I don't want to be hurting around and like having to take off my shoes that's not gonna ever happen anymore another pair of shoes which I don't know where am I gonna put all these stuff um, are these kind of brown um, heels I like how skinny the straps are and it has this diamonded detail in the middle it's super sexy it reminds me of sex in the city and like the early 2000 kind of vibe this is so cool the heel isn't too bad I might have to put in something like a stable here just because it's a little bit like wonky but I'm super excited to try this on 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention as well. I actually got these when I was in Japan. T technically, it was bought in Malaysia, but I saw them when I was in Zara, Tokyo. I fell in love with them so much that they didn't have my size, so I called all the way. I made an international call. That was pricey just to get them to save these for me so that when I come back I can get them but then they couldn't save it for me anyway because I was going to be there another week so I kind of called my family to help me get this pair of shoes I mean am I the only one who does this I'm sure I'm not alone please tell me I'm not the only one who gets people to get it for me especially my mom <laughs> thank you mom so she got these pair for me um actually my dad it was my dad my so basically, I got these heels. I love the chunky heels because it's comfortable and I've been looking for a pair of gold heels because they are just such a statement. It would go so well with this top with like maybe like a black denim uh, jeans that will look really cool. Now let's finish it off again with a bag. Um, Steve actually thrifted this for himself. I just really wanted to show it because you know, I'll be stealing it. Um, so it's this kind of big of uh, bag. So to compare this and that, it's almost similar. So it's kind of like hers and his. I like how he picked this up. I love it so much because look at that gold detailed. And the best part is that it's 30 bucks. You guys have to check out Jalan Jalan Japan. It is just sneaking in here real quick because somehow the last part of that video just disappeared on me. I was about to tell you to check out Jalan Jalan Japan because they have so many incredible stuff and if you're into thrift shopping, I'm pretty sure you're definitely going to find something that you love. Um, I'm also going to be posting an IGTV video on how I style some of the pieces I got in Japan. So do check me out on Instagram. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and join the family. Please do. I'm excited for my next video. So I'll see you guys there.